Hi, my name is Mia Lewis. I'm a senior guard on the UNC Asheville's women's basketball team. What compelled you to participate and help coordinate the, the Black Lives Matter student athlete rally? It's a passion of mine to stand up for what I believe in. And I felt like during quarantine and the beginning of 2020, a lot of issues started arising with the racial tensions and police brutality. So I felt upon myself to you know, get involved with my teammates and have a peaceful protest and a peaceful rally to stand up for what we believe in. What was the experience of marching for Black Lives Matter with other student athletes and others from campus? What was that like for you? It was inspirational. You read in history books about monumental moments that happened within America. And I'm not saying it's anything compared to the other bigger moments that have happened in the United States, but on a small scale, it was monumental for my friends and I and my community. And to be a part of that was inspiring and unimaginable. And knowing that UNC Asheville and the city of Asheville supported us made it even a greater experience. What did you take away from it? What did you learn from, from all of that? I learned that when individuals are brave enough to stand up for what they believe in, they will have supporters. And with that support, you can do anything. Our university started more organizations to help with Black Lives Matter. We did murals, we did talks, we have more groups, cultural conversations happening. So when you get the ball rolling, things can happen and you just have to stand up for what you believe in. One uh, phrase you threw in there was cultural conversations. And, and indeed, that is one of the programs we've been doing here at the Big South. You got to participate in that. What is uh, what, what are your thoughts on, on the league stepping in and doing some things? It's comforting to know that not only does my university support me, but the whole Big South Conference supports us and what we stand for. Shows us that they're willing to take a step down and understand you know, what their student athletes are going through and what their students are going through within the system. So it's really comforting to know that. You started a program called COIN. Tell us what, what that stands for. COIN stands for Caring for Others in Need, the F is silent. I wanted it to be a little knick-knacky name, so I focus mainly on COIN. Um, it is a humanitarian, humanitarian Christian-based um, program that I started that basically gives these care packages, which I call COIN bags, to the homeless. Each coin bag has toothbrush, toothpaste, water. The biggest things that I put in my bag are socks because we do take for granted warm feet. And then also I have a list of homeless shelters within the city of Asheville that gives them directions, phone numbers, emails, anything that they would need to get in contact with those individuals who could help them. The biggest goal of coin is to show that we love each other. I think one of the biggest things taken for granted is love and kindness and consideration for each other. Another thing that I want to do with COIN is to take it back to my hometown, Atlanta, Georgia, which has one of the most densely biggest populated, you know, areas of homelessness and a lot of help is needed there. Hopefully if COIN becomes huge, I can have my own shelter or scholarships or just other things I can get involved. The biggest goal of COIN is to have this a nationwide phenomenon and have, you know, people ordering COIN bags nationwide and helping those within their community. Tell us about your major and then your career goals beyond UNC Asheville. So I'm currently a BA chemistry major with a neuroscience minor. Um, I am currently applying to medical school and my goal is to go to medical school and become an OBGYN. Now you interned with the Mountain Area Health Education Center. What's the purpose and goals of the center? MAG gives back to the community, especially in educating um, pre-health majors at UNCA. They offer a scholarship to 10 individuals who applied and interviewed for it with a paid internship. You also get to choose what department you want to work at. I chose OBGYN because that's the department that I want to work with and it only further solidified my passion to become an OBGYN. I had to shadow a resident physician for a couple days a week and you know take notes you know, listen, sometimes it really depended on the physician. They would like quiz you on certain things or teach you about certain uh, procedures and things that they would do in the office. And for my own project, I had to do research um, and I decided to do research on centering and the benefits of centering when it comes to pregnant women. Centering is a small group that pregnant women attend 
um, once a month about talking about their issues or you know getting taught by physicians of certain things they do, that they should expect during, throughout their pregnancy. Also learned health disparities amongst certain racial groups, Hispanics, African Americans, and just again driving in one of the biggest reasons why I want to become an OBGYN is to give back to specifically my community, the African American community, because we do need more physicians of color so it can help alleviate some of those issues. There was this one procedure that I witnessed of a woman who was going through a hard time um, with sexual abuse and the physicians were extremely compassionate and caring. And I felt like that was one of the biggest things and biggest roles that physicians can do besides having medical knowledge is showing human kindness and care because that's what she needed more than anything within that moment. And that meant to me that besides accumulating all this knowledge that I'm going to accumulate for the rest of my life, I must also focus on being a considerate and compassionate human being because that's one of the greatest medicines you can give anyone.